Welcome to the solution then to number two. And in this one we've got the integral then going from naught to one of two to the power x all over two to the power x plus one all squared integrated with respect to x. Now to do this we've been asked to use a substitution and so I'm going to put that substitution over here. A substitution is u equals 2 to the power x. Now when we're doing substitution what we need to do is differentiate this with respect to x. So therefore what we're going to have is that du dx equals now, hopefully you should know the result of differentiating anything, uh, any constant to a power x. Let's say a to the power x. The answer is always a to the power x natural log of a. And in this particular case, our constant a is 2. So you should know then that this is 2 to the power x natural log of 2. OK, so we have du dx. What we do now is to invert this and we would end up having that dx by du would equal 1 over 2x natural log of 2. Why do we do this? Well, the answer comes from switching the variables over here. We'll forget about the limits just for the moment, okay, we'll tackle those in a minute, but we'll have an integral, okay. Now on the top we've got 2 to the power x, and 2 to the power x you can see is u. So we'll change that then to u, divided by 2 to the power x plus 1 becomes u plus 1, all squared. And in place of dx, we can write dx as being dx, putting a du there and a du up there. Alright, so dx is exactly the same as dx by du with du there. So dx du we now have as being 1 over 2 to power x natural log 2 and I'm going to substitute that in here. So we end up with the integral of u over u plus 1 all squared and dx du then is 1 over 2 to the power x natural log of 2 du. Now I put the limits to one side just for a moment there so I'll just go back and return to changing the limits. Now these limits, 0 and 1, are with respect to x. So first of all, when x is 0, okay, let's just put this down here. We'll extend this line here, the working out line, so we can say that when x equals 0, if we substitute 0 into here, we have u equals 2 to the power 0, and 2 to the power 0 is simply 1, so u equals 1. We'll put that new limit down here as 1, corresponding with the 0. Now we go up to the top limit, 1. And when x is 1, let's put that here, when x is 1, we have u equals 2 to the power 1, so 2 to the power 1 is 2, so u equals 2. So that limit goes there, 2. Putting those limits down here again, we're going from 1 to 2. All right. Okay. Now we've got this integral, and it'd be a good idea just to tidy this up first of all. We've got to have it all in terms of u, and I still have got this uh, term here, two to the power x. Now two to the power x is, as we've seen up here, u. So this. 2 to the power x is u, and it would cancel out with this u over here. So I can cancel that out. Let's just put a line through here. That 
cancels out with that there. Now I have a constant, 1 over the natural log of 2, well that's a constant and I can take that constant out the front of the integral. Okay, And that means that we have less clutter inside. So that leaves us with 1 over u plus 1 all squared du. Now, how do I integrate this? Well, we'll put the 1 over the natural log of 2 there. And this becomes the integral of u plus 1 to the power minus 2 with respect to u. I just remembered I forgot the limits up here. 1 and 2. Let's put them back in again here. 1 and 2. Now we should be able to see that this integral is a very easy integral at this level. Uh, we should be able to integrate it by inspection. We end up with the 1 over the natural log of 2. And if we integrate this, it would be u plus 1 to the power minus 1. And it would be divided by negative 1. Okay, and that would be between the limits 1 and 2. So next, we just have to clean this up and then put the limits through. Well, cleaning this up, this is going to be the same as minus 1 over u plus 1. But I'm going to take the minus out the front and that becomes minus 1 over the natural log of 2. And then it will be 1 over u plus 1 between the limits of 1 and 2. OK, so now we need to just put those limits in. And so we'll just scroll up. And if we do that, we have minus 1 over the natural log of 2. So put the 2 in first. So we have 1 over 2 plus 1, which is 1 third. And then minus, put the 1 in now. So you have 1 over 1 plus 1. That's a half. Cleaning this up a bit further we have one third take away a half. Well, we can express these two fractions in terms of sixths. So this is two sixths, take away three sixths. So that leaves me with minus one sixth. And minus one sixth times minus one over the natural log of two becomes a plus one over six times the natural log of two. And the question said, find the exact value of this integral. And so you don't want to get on the calculator and work this out. Otherwise, what you're going to get is a decimal, which is going to have lots of digits, maybe not, not even recurring. And uh, that won't be the exact answer. So just leave it like this. OK, so uh, hope you've got that. Let's just bring that back down a little bit if I can. OK. No, I can't really fit it all in. But there we go. There's the answer, and I hope you've understood that.